just pulled out for another edition of Gravel City Night Out. The crossroads of life coming up. This is why we don't let her read the map. It's hot. I don't really like riding bikes that much in the summer. For all the derailers that gave their lives. from the back. This is a fun one because they don't even time you, so you just kind of, it's more of like a party pace fun ride. Party pace fun ride is what we're looking for and the only thing we're prepared for. We haven't been on this bike together since Unbound, a month, almost two months ago. So we'll see how bad the heat is and how things go. Appreciate you joining in. Here we go. Crossroads of life coming up. What do you think? Whatever. I'm letting you choose. Oh, okay. Pretty straight. Okay. Okay, folks. We're doing 50. This is not 50. We're doing the short route. Just kidding. We're doing 28. This is this is why we don't let her read the map. There was literally a sign. 10 feet ago. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to what it said. It's true though, don't let me read a map. Okay, what influenced your decision to make the short route? It's hot. <laughs> I don't really like riding bikes that much in the summer. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. This is a, par this is a party, party yeah. pace, man. Let's go for a short ride. Honestly, I'm thinking about being back in time for food earlier too. Yeah. Yeah, I would like that I'm very sweating. much. Sweating, it's not an acoustic environment. <laughs> if you guys remember from last year, we had some um, t flat tire situations and we got in like right before I think the food so closed late. down. Yeah. 
and then like the party was over yeah. by the time we got in. Once again, and we missed the party. We, we always miss the, miss part. the party. Well, because we're slow. Tonight. We're not front of the gravel pack. We're That's back right. of the gravel pack for a reason. We're not missing the party tonight. <laughs> it is hot. Yeah, I'm, luckily, I'm a breeze. fine with this decision. What do you mean you're fine? You were lobbying me. Oh, nice. I, I did ask him that. if we could, I begged him if we could do the 28 before we left. Okay, we're still waiting. We're doing a snack. Snacks from the way back. Snacks oh, from the way back. Behind the back. This is one of our last feed provided snacks, isn't it? Yes. Little. Huge shout out to the feed for this. Um, Rip Van Waffle. European snack, chocolate brownie. Looks like this thing has been through the Yeah, ring. this was uh, maybe in a bag and got yeah. totally smashed. Might have gotten washed. Um, fun update since you last saw us. I was diagnosed with celiac disease, so I can no longer have gluten, which is like yeah. real big bummer. So I was looking forward to trying those yeah, brownie waffles. <laughs> and now I can't. So... Rich I get is, all the gluten. Rich is my taster. How is it? What's your review? Um, it's a little dry. It's like two layers of chocolate waffle and like, like oh, a God, like a that looks good. fudge, a fudgy fudgy brownie. Oh, I want that. Maybe because it's like a year old. Maybe because it went through the washer. <laughs> but like the consistency <laughs> seems a little bit off. But I suspect that's due to the freshness. Maybe I've had a lot of, of the, you know waffle things this one's pretty good i, I don't know if i've ever had a chocolate one mm. i'd say it's my favorite what you, this style of waffle nice. there's a name for this style of waffle it's not like the waffles still take the cake by like a thousand points <laughs> the belgian style wait see this oh this is european style yeah waffles are still number one this is like number six and there's nothing in between one and six that's how much <laughs> better waffles are named. This is pretty good. I would get this again. But it's not gluten free. Yeah. We've eaten some stuff I didn't love lately. Oh, good. Nice. A little Rip Man waffle. Chocolate <laughs> brownie. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hi. Hey, how's it Hi. going? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Woo, Woo! Back in the gravel pack. We're doing Woo! the short route. Very good luck. <laughs> you guys have Problem? No. And hanging out. Ooh, We're ooh. doing the short route. We'll see you soon. Thanks again to the feed. It was great. Yeah. Getting to try some different snacks this year. I don't know. You get into the rut, you buy the same nutrition every time. And for us, usually that's like scratch. We get like the same thing over and over. So it was fun to try a bunch of different stuff and see what we liked and didn't like. And I discovered my true love and passion for waffles. All right, we should probably ride again. Let's I've almost going. drank a bottle. Well, good news, you're not going very far. Ooh, look at the butt on that one. It must work out. <laughs> I don't know that I want to climb up towers, sweat a bunch, be late to the party. You could have had your revenge on uh, your mud. That, that little stretch right after yeah. Road D Hill. <laughs> ah, I like to remember it like it was on Unbound Day. Yeah. Yeah. I might have carried my bike just even if it wasn't muddy, just, you know, in remembrance for all the derailers that gave their lives, for all the poor souls that had to use their feet and walk. that far. It's pretty chill. Yeah. yeah. I like it. It's a nice feeling. Got some snacks. I'm trying to find a swimming pool to jump in. <laughs> Currently. I haven't found one yet, but they got a mister right here at the uh, checkpoint in Popsicle, so that ought to help me with the heat. That's pretty much it. It's pretty good looking corn though, I'll tell you that one.
<laughs> How we doing? Great. Short out of the chicken. Yeah. Lucky back for our dinner with that. Yep. Yep. It's a good choice. there and when you're like 90 or 190 in and see that it's a pretty welcome sight we're like 19 in so just out for a leisurely ride but it's still nice to see heading back to Emporia sun going down right now the weather is miserable during the day but it's pretty darn comfortable for this like last half hour, it's not bad at all. Got a bit of a tailwind heading back. Nice to be out on the bike again for a little while. going to bring a close to the riding portion of Gravel City Night Out, which was actually quite nice tonight, doing the short what? route. That's the shortest route of an event I've ever done in my life, maybe? Yeah. I mean, maybe it was some child, but you know what? It was great. It was fun. So we got some catered food, some catered dinner, a beer, maybe a cider for my lady. Yep. And uh, we're gonna enjoy the rest of the evening and the party is still going for once, which is pretty rare for us. So. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't start for another two minutes. Oh, there we go. Nine o'clock. Oh, there was a curse you to start too. Nine huh? to 11. They're like, don't finish before nine, jerks. Sweet. Yeah, that was fun. It was fun. And that's why we're out here. We were talking about it on the way back. There should be more events like this. No timing, short event, eating snacks. There may have been a beer or two out there that was consumed, I'm not can't confirm nor deny that but uh it's the way it should be that's what we're all here for so uh appreciate you joining us for today's episode if you haven't done so already uh definitely appreciate it if you have subscribed to the channel it helps a lot with building the community back also if you have any good suggestions for gluten-free snacks Ooh, on the bike call. let us know drop yep. them in the comments because i'm learning and cass Catholic. still has not discovered her new shoes yet still on the hunt for some nice gravel shoes so got any suggestions put them below as well and uh with that, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, we did it. Great success. We finished 28 miles. And now, <laughs> now we're on a train. Ride like a month. <laughs>